Hi, we're here at Amy's Ice Cream in Austin, Texas. We were told that this is another really great place to stop. When you're just walking down the street and you're looking for a little street vendor, this is the place for ice cream. So we're going to give it a try. Especially on a hot day like today, ice cream hits the spot. Hi. How are you doing today? Good. Thank you. How are you all? We Good. need some ice cream. Awesome. Um, I think I'm going to try your fuzzy navel on a cone, please. A sugar cone would be great. And I think I want your Mexican vanilla. Mexican vanilla? Yes. Would that be mine? Fuzzy navel. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's delicious. That is so refreshing. Thank you, sir. So tell me a little bit about the Mexican vanilla and why it's so popular. All right, Mexican vanilla is one of our most popular flavors. It's uh, kind of one of our trademarks. It's made with what we call a melatonin bean. And the bean itself is actually cross-pollinated with a Mexican orchid flower, which is what gives it a little bit creamier consistency, a little bit more of a kick in the taste. My ice cream is really rich. Yum, yum. Fresh. That Mexican vanilla is so... What would make mine a fuzzy navel? Is it the orange? It's gotta be the orange. Peach? Orange with a little soda in there. Or a peach. Awesome. Could do an orange fuzzy or a peach fuzzy navel. Usually it's a peach though. I'm thinking it might be a peach. One of the things you absolutely have to do when you're in Boston is visit one of the street vendors right here on the wharf. They said we had to try this fried dough. John's going to add a little powdered sugar. This fried dough we're having right now is absolutely fantastic. The smell of this sweet dough with the lovely powdered sugar and the smell of the salt air around us right here by the water. Not to mention really fun. the smell of your perfume. <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> We've had a great time down here. We're going to enjoy a little bit more of this and search for another street vendor. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're here in Central Park in New York City, and I'm going to have an old-fashioned eclair, and Teresa's having a cannoli. We stopped by one of the local street vendors. You're going to find a ton of them in New York City. I'm going to enjoy my cannoli, and I've been told that what makes a great cannoli is the hard outside pastry and the wonderful soft fluffy ricotta inside. Mine's been dipped in chocolate, makes it a little bit extra special. And on the eclair, what it is, it's a pat de paste. You bake it, then you fill it with pastry cream. So I'm going to bite into this mm. and make sure it's tender and flaky on the outside and Nice, soft, and smooth on the inside. <laughs> Sounds good. So we're going to take a little walk through Central Park, enjoy this. Remember, if you get a chance, stop by and visit some of the street vendors. Hey, babe, this is another New York tradition right here. Let's get some ice cream and Mr. Softy. I'll tell you, you know, we don't get Mr. Softy all the time. It's really nice. Ooh, that looks great. My chocolate was so smooth and had just the right flavor of chocolate. How was your vanilla? It was really good and nice texture. Excellent. Like I said, a New York tradition. 